After my primary school in the village, my mother told me she had done her part. I was alone. I decided to go to Nairobi to live with my aunt in Huruma. She was poor and could not pay for all my expenses. I had to look for money. At the age of 14 years, I found myself on the streets as a sex worker. My aunt guessed how I made my money and threw me out. I moved from place to place, living with different men in different parts of Nairobi. I stayed until they threw me out. At the age of 16, I had one child from a client. I don't know which one. One day, I met a man who kept me. I stayed in one place in Madare, which he paid. Sometimes he provided food. He came and went. I didn't have enough money. I had to sell sex. I had another child. At the age of 18, I didn't know the father. The man who kept me was angry and left. I moved from Madare to Majengo. At the age of 22, I met a man who wanted to marry and settle with me and my children. He wanted both of us to have a HIV test, and I tested positive, he tested negative. Then he left. I was again in my own world. I felt very lonely. My colleagues helped me. They listened and introduced me to a group called Cotanet. This group helps people like me who are HIV positive and in really difficult situations. They referred me to support groups to talk and encourage each other. We try to do group savings when we can, but to actually get the medicines is quite challenging. There are stocks out, the hours are short, the staff is overworked. With the medication I looked and felt healthy and happy. I became more positive about life. I accepted myself, but it was difficult to take the medicines every day. Sometimes it's not safe. I get a client from the streets who would take me by Matatu to his place far away. Sometimes it's not safe to go back or there is no transport. Although I felt good on the medication, but it was difficult to adhere. Therefore, I changed to herbal treatment. Herbal treatment is easier. It's a powder that goes into a drink. Nobody knows what it is.